capacity in which you worked on those shows? What, what was your role and responsibility? Well, I was an actor. Okay. I started my career as an actor. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, and then it developed um, after years of working as an actor. Then I became a morning talk show host in Los Angeles for two years. I was the morning talk show host in LA with Sandy Barron, who is a deceased. He was an actor, a well known actor, worked in a lot of films. Um, then um, I developed um, an interest, a keen interest in casting and helping people get work because. Um, it's something that I enjoy doing. And I decided to sort of step away from being in front of the camera and begin to develop a career behind the camera, so to speak, as a casting director. And then I came home. There were a lot of reasons why I came home, family reasons that brought me back home. Um, I'm a single parent. I wanted to bring my son home to have grandparents. And then my father got sick, and he passed away. And my mother, who's very elderly now, and I have a adult uh, developmentally disabled sister. I felt it was important for me to stay home and be able to give them some support when my dad died. Understood. So I came home and I uh, sort of threw the dice because I didn't know whether I was going to be able to work at all back here or do anything back here at all. My whole life was in LA. Mm -hmm. And it was tough going for several years. It was very hard for me to have the industry people here locally let me get any work as a casting director because they kind of all had their hands in the pot and they all, you know, took care of it all. Mm -hmm. But I slowly have managed to uh, carve out a niche as a casting director. And now with this incentive bill and all the work here, there's a lot of opportunity. And that's why I'm here to let people know that there's opportunity in the inner city for our inner city Detroit people, but they need to get trained and they need to figure out how they're going to get some of these hundreds of jobs and get some of this work. So to jump back a little, how did you become a casting director? Well, you it, it's not really, a, you know, it's a, not a job that you necessarily train for. Mm -hmm. It's because of experience in the business and it's about people that you know, understanding how to contact agents, how to get through to people. It's a very unusual type of a job, and the best way to get a job as a casting director is to be an assistant to a casting director. Yeah. That's that's the most important thing. Okay. Maybe describe the difference between a talent agent and a casting director for us. The difference is, as a casting director, a producer comes into town, and he hires me to find the talent for his production, be it a TV show or a film. A talent agent takes people like you guys, talent, hires you up, assigns you up to his agency, and he finds you work, he sends you out to the casting director, and then the talent agent gets a percentage of your earnings. Whereas a casting director, is hired by the, producer. the producer pays me solely, not the talent. Understood. So that's the difference. People get that very mixed up. And I understand that too. That's another thing about knowing this business, uh, getting into a training program. If you're interested in being in this business, it's imperative that you hook up with people that have experience, have been around, been in the industry for a long time, where you can take classes and learn and study and get the protocol and rituals of show business. Yes, you said you was in L.A. for seven years, I'm not mistaken. Many, I was in L.A. for like 33 years. Okay. And I wanted to know, how does it differ from Detroit? Los Angeles? Yes. Well, they have earthquakes there. <laughs> and they don't have any snow. <laughs> and there's also a big ocean. Actually, I think Michigan is better. If you want to know the really truth, the only reason I stayed in L.A. for so long was because it's a show business capital mm -hmm. of the world, yeah. New York and L.A. And that's where the work was. There wasn't any work here for me as an actor working in this industry. But now, because the film industry is so prominent here, mm. I'd much rather be in Michigan and be back home. The air is cleaner. We have the beauty of the state. And Michigan is one of the most yes. beautiful places. And I just love being home. I love the people. Mm -hmm. And I love being back here. So. Do you have any advice for uh, people our age that want to get in the business? I have great advice. My suggestion is to people that want to work in this industry that are young, first of all, again, I go back to the training. The training is important. Keep in mind where you're going to take your training. Who are you going to train with? Are those people where you're going 
actually working in the film or TV industry, are they really going to be able to take a hands-on with you and really try to promote your career and help you to get some work? This is a key. Um, and take it seriously. Really take it seriously. So, you know, you know, my studio, the phone's open for phone calls to talk to me about career development. Well, tell us a little bit about that. You, you mentioned some upcoming projects during the break. Well, we have Clifton Davis coming in this weekend to teach a master class, an acting class, about auditioning and breaking down characters and getting work, especially for African Americans in this business. It's always been a little bit more hard, more difficult for us to work and have jobs in the industry, other minorities as well. It's been known for that. So we have Paul Mooney coming in next year. We have Damon Wilson towards the end of the year. These are all old friends of mine that I worked with for years and years and years. And they're coming in to support what I'm doing here and to support the inner city of Detroit and the community to go forward in the business. So anyone out there that wants to call the studio and talk to me and is considering working in this business, I would love to offer a handout to you, reach out to you, bring you in, talk to you about our program. Well, go ahead and give them that list that contact information so they can get in touch. Well, we're a state licensed proprietary school, 248-595-8660, Casting Motor City Film and TV Training Studio in Lathrop Village, Michigan on Southfield Road, right there near 11 Mile, the 696 freeway. Well, this has been a very informative segment. Segment. We would love to thank you for coming out and talking with us and talking with our audience. I'm happy to be here. This has been a great segment, another great addition to the Keeping It 100 show, the first edition of the series for Youth Neighborhood News. And we'd like to take a quick break right now. Thanks for watching Keeping It 100. Shout out if you want to see the man. What up? And know about me. We had an interesting discussion today on Detroit's finest, the entertainment industry from the Motor City. What do you guys think of the show? It was great. I think we got a lot accomplished in this first segment. Yeah, it was great. I liked uh, the fact how we got to talk to Kathy McKee. That was my first time talking to her. Did we learn anything interesting from Kathy and what, she, what her experiences? Yeah, she was very informative. So she gave us a lot of information that we can go back and tell um, our peers. And a lot of tips. I feel we had a very good conversation speaking on the entertainment industry. Being a member of youth, I'll also be attending that $20 seminar. See you next time on Keeping It 100. Brought to you by Youth Neighborhood News, where we bring you the younger side of the news.